All right, so here's the sun choke harvest from the three buckets. Probably a couple pounds worth there, I would think. Now we'll see what's in the sweet potatoes. So we'll pull off some of the leaves and take out the buckets. And let's see what we got here. Lots of the vines, for sure. I'll have to clean up all the vines. Put the vines in the compost pile. Take out the water. Alright, so I'll see here. These will be hopefully bigger than the sun chokes and what kind of potato harvest should we expect? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, well there's one. One little one. On the top. Will we have lots of little ones or roots or I don't know what, right? Alright, so let's cut the way. Let's see what we got here as we start to pull away some of this dirt. Let's see what we got. Huh. Stuff here on the top. Oh, that one broke. Right. Well, maybe we should just dump it out here. Okay. Let's dump it out right here and see what we start to get. Get a little bit easier. Oh, it's heavy. Alright, lots of roots that went all the way to the bottom, you can see that for sure. Alright, let's see what we got here. Lots of roots for sure. How many sweet potatoes? It's a little... Lots of roots. Well, then one there. All right, well, kind of little tiny ones in it. Wow, look at that wow. there. Okay, so they're kind of all amassed right there at the top. Kind of different squiggly shapes, isn't it? It's funny. I mean, they'll eat just the same, but... Wow. Well, that ain't bad. I mean, we never did it, you know, before. We never grew sweet potatoes. So, how did this one do? This one tended to get a lot of rain, too, because it was by the roof. Pretty that's a roost. That's a little one. All right, look at that one. That's not bad there. Okay. All right. Oh, look at that. It was kind of all, they seem kind of all bundled together, kind of, you know? Oh, all right. How big they are. Yeah, it's better than I thought. I mean, it's definitely enough for a Thanksgiving dinner, isn't it? You don't have to worry about buying sweet potatoes. Any others? Oh, look at that one. Oh, wow, look at that one. Wow. Oh, there you go. So, I mean, they didn't go all the way deep, deep down into the bucket, but they were, you know, definitely growing there. They definitely had enough water and nutrients and everything to give us a, a few... Two pounds of them anyways. Alright. So that's the one bucket. And we got four more buckets, right? Yep. Alright, so let's see if we can move them out of the way because they're gonna get pretty busy here. But okay, look at that. So you know, just those two sweet potatoes alone could feed somebody and you know, a couple Thanksgiving dinner or kind of different meals you can have out of this for the holidays. Put them in another bucket. Well, yeah. So we'll have to wash them up, but then, you know, you got to let them dry out, you know, like a regular potato.
dry in a cool place so that you know they'll stay they'll stay good all right so that's one let's take a look at the next bucket pretty good right. you see the jungle of vines i mean it definitely grew here with the vines I think it's just enough vines here You know, they're a heat loving plant and they definitely got all the sun for the whole day. Now he's a little bolt of screw. I don't know where that's from. Another little bolt of screw. I wonder where these bolts or screws came from. I don't know. Fell from the sky into my bucket. All right, we'll pull away the mulch. And there's some definite sweet potatoes wow. peeking out here. Yeah. All right, well, let's dump this one out. We'll see what we got here. heavy oh yeah again the roots all the way down to the bottom of the plant and just start breaking the edges off and have them just come apart All concentrated, wow, all concentrated here, right at the top. They really stayed uh, where the roots are there. And they had, wow, look at that bundle. Gee, many. Wow, how about that? Not bad. Okay. Yeah. One big roots there. Well, we might be getting Christmas in. Thanksgiving dinner out of these. Wow. Bring this back. That had some pretty powerful roots there. For a, I think it's about a 20 gallon bucket. It definitely had, you know, some growth that it concentrated all in the, the main, you know, roots on there. Look at that. It's all kind of tied to one kind of thing. Look at that. That's an odd shape sweet potato. You know, they're not all the nice shaped ones you see in the store, but then again, they're not growing those in buckets like we are. This is how they would grow to the container that they put in. All right. Yeah. Oh my gosh, there we go. Eight. Yeah, they sure are. Some long tap roots there on it. All right, I mean, it looks like it's just as big, maybe a little bigger than the first one. Which, I mean, the way I'm looking at these, if I had to weigh these, that's at least oh, close to 10 pounds all together. Oh, more probably. You know, I'll when you get weigh them. when you got a sweet potato this big out of the bucket, that's pretty good. So we're running out of room here. We'll have to put them all to the side and keep going down. You know, they they grow into that, you know, root, uh, you know, all like little tap roots off of a main root. So they didn't necessarily spread deeper into the bucket. They stayed shallow, which maybe that kind of tells you you don't necessarily need a, a deep container as much as you would need a broader container or something you know 
So, okay, so we got these and the ones from the first bucket. If these next three buckets are that big, we'll be eating sweet potatoes uh, for a while here. All winter. Yeah. So, when we talk about successes here and putting dirt in a 20 gallon container, can you grow sweet potatoes? I guess the answer is yes. You know, the, the, they like the sun. And this area got sun for at least 12 hours a day easily, you know. Here's these bolts. Get these bolts out of here. I wonder where they came from. You know, they got water, you know, in the in the heat of the summer. They at least got water once a day, maybe even more than that, because we had some of those hot days that would dry this out. And this got full sun for, you know, at least 12 hours, so. And they withstand that Texas heat where our other plants dried up. Yeah, they, they can do it. All right, so the water's out of there. All right, so let's maybe tip this guy over. That way? Yeah. Behind you, Mike? Yeah, let's see how this one did. You can already see. Because it's coming up in the in the shallow end of it so really you know you can already pull these right off the top but i don't want to break them either i'd rather have the roots and all that come up easily some thick stems out all right let's dump this you can kind of see here if i dump this out they're definitely all towards the top Right. You know, and they come out. Look at that. Wow. Wow, it's just oh my goodness. taking up the whole bucket, oh, wow. really. If you look at this here, if you can get down there, you can see that as I pull away the mulch, it really was growing up towards the top, pushing the mulch out of the way, pushing even the dirt out of the way. You know, it was it was coming up to that extent here. I mean it's oh my gosh, that's a big bat one. Yeah. It's really like you know when they're digging for dinosaurs and they find the bones you kind of have to keep stripping away the dirt around the the bones here but yeah i mean you can see here that you know here's some more of the that root that they're on the same feeding line you know all right let's see if we can just shake it out a bit all right let's grab this I don't want to come loose like the other one. <laughs> they're in there pretty tight. All right, well, let's see if we can so loosen it up. Of them. Give it a shake. Kind of loosen it up because it's all in there as one big mass of potato. Okay. Well, we'll have to do it this way, I think. I don't want to kind of break them there. I want to. Get them out one piece. Oh. You have the little different nodules and all that. Oh, it came loose. Oh my gosh. There you go. Oh, it's mess. This whole bucket is nothing but roots. And this center one is the one that's keeping the whole bucket open. Do you need that little shovel? No, he'll stab him. There's one right in the center here. That one's really big. Cut this stem there. There. There's 
roots are huge in the bucket. I'm trying to get up underneath of them here. The stink fear is over. Yeah, I could have put them in a sweet potato contest. <laughs> Definitely a, a massive root. Mm -hmm. Let's put this out, make some more room. I keep thinking oh, there'll be enough dirt there but it'll just dump out, but they're still in there really tight, all the tiny, tiny roots. Ah, there it goes. Wow, wow. This one did get potatoes to the bottom. Look at this guy sitting here right at the bottom of the barrel. All by himself. All by himself. And then it looks like there's some more here that would come up they really were coming around the sides look at that but the massive amount of roots that <laughs> it was doing it's amazing you know if it would have had more room I guess they would have even spread out further I mean here's one that's Thin, but it potentially would have been a bigger sweet potato. There's a little guy. It's a little tiny one. Need people to send sweet potato yeah. recipes. Yeah, I tell you. How many ways you can, can make... you fix a sweet potato? Yeah, with all of these, a number of ways. That's just a little root. Kind of working our way towards the center here. Boy, that root really hit the bottom of the bucket and was trying to grow more. Wow, okay. That's a sweet potato. Holy smokes. Wow. Look at how big that is. Gee whiz. Oh, wow, look at the taproot on that. That was really constrained by the bucket. It hit the bottom and says, I'm just going to make you one big sweet potato, I guess. Right. Getting towards the center of the bucket here. That's a nice potato. Well, so far, this bucket's the biggest of them all. All right. If we reach the center. Yeah. Okay. That's that pocket. All right. So, whereas that's the third bucket, and if you come over here, that's the second bucket. And the first bucket, and while it keeps getting better and better as we go down the buckets. I mean, to weigh out these sweet potatoes, uh, you know, I mean, are we looking at 50 pounds of sweet potatoes? We could. You know, just eyeballing it here. Not knowing what you were going to get all no, year. No, no, I mean, you can't tell because, you know, he saw the ones at the top, but you never know what's underneath. Sweet potato pie. Yeah. Sweet potato cookies. Sweet potato fudge. Everything. Okay. 
So that's the sweet potatoes so far. That's three buckets. Three buckets of sweet potatoes. And they're all big sized. Ah, all right. So let's continue pulling more of these out. Dump it sideways? Yeah, all right, we're going to pull these out again. I think I've lost my scissors uh, underneath something. Did you bury it somewhere? Yeah, probably they're buried underneath. Take out the water. Alright, oh boy, more giant sweet potatoes here, right underneath the mulch. You know, these basically, look at that. Oh my gosh. They push themselves right through the mulch and we're going up the top here. Definitely outgrowing the bucket. I guess I lost the scissors underneath all this. All right, huh? Let's see if we can't dump some of this out again. Loosen them up. Take it out. Yeah, the massive roots. Ah, they really were, they really had a strong leaf and root system. out as one big clump. Alright, here's one that was going longer. Alright, let's tip it. There. All right. Oh my gosh. So that one got squashed. <laughs> It started to grow right underneath the paper I put down. And there's spiders here too. But it was growing right underneath the paper that I was using to drain. You know, the roots went through that. Amazing. They're even outside. It wasn't even growing in dirt as much as it was growing between the plastic of the bucket and, and the, you know, the paper that I used for my... My drainage there. Look at that. It was trying to really escape out of the confines of the bucket. You know? Look at that. That this one here was right at the side. Which makes you think, do they really need dirt? As much as, you know, it wasn't sitting in dirt. It had roots that was getting water and nutrients. But could you almost grow these potatoes hydroponically without any dirt? Because it doesn't have to sit in the dirt as we saw from those. All right. Let's start peeling it 
away and back and let's see the potatoes come out okay so here we go right there yeah. any nook or cranny that they could find a place they would grow The ground on the top Looks was nice. dry, but if you went in about three or so inches, the ground was still moist. So it had, you know, even through that heat and everything, it still kept a good moisture level, I think, to feed them, but not rot them. Because I have not found any that are rotted. You know, all the watering that we did in the heat, where you think, well, how do I know I'm not overwatering and, you know, getting root rot? I guess it was the right amount. Here they all are. And we were hoping for one meal at Yeah, least. we're hoping for one meal and you know here we are looking at a couple. You know, I figured we'd have Thanksgiving sweet potato dinner and that'd be it. On there, it's kind of cracked just through. Is that it from that bucket? Yeah, I think that one's about it too. So, a good harvest out of that bucket. Not as big as the first three, but acceptable. Okay. All right. So, all right. Let's move these in the back here as we continually add to the mound of sweet potatoes this one's a little green i don't know if you're supposed to eat the green sweet potato like a regular white potato if it's had some sun there supposedly they're poisonous right yeah this is the one that i really oop, can't believe it really was on this long of a of a root system you know and this one would have grown more as a bigger one like these three were attempting to do I mean each one of these if you think when you go to a, a restaurant you're like okay I'll have one sweet potato I mean think about how many single potato meals you could potentially eat here you know when you go to order right here the couple yeah these are just the, the little teeny root that's cracked that one okay these are just the start of a one but it's too too thin all right so that's three sweet potatoes down one more bucket to go that other bucket i don't think has anything in it so let's take this last bucket this one compared. A lot of tough roots. Oh, maybe this one won't be as much. Ah, well this one doesn't have as many bulging from the top the ground had enough 
the moisture being kept at the bottom keep the roots feeding all right here's the start of some potatoes oh it's a long potato there they really wanted to snake around the sides of the bucket Another giant one. Another giant one. Wow. So this one has less but bigger size potatoes in it. Look at how wrapped around that one got. So if we put them all together, alright, alright, so that's basically about four or five buckets, 20 gallon buckets with sweet potato vines, and that's a good 50 pounds maybe more more of sweet potatoes let's see what's in the surprise bucket. so well there's gonna be nothing in that one i think because that started out to be regular potatoes and i don't think we got anything this time now the sweet potatoes look like they tried to invade so there's a little sweet potato shoot let's see if anything came in here I don't think so this feels like all dirt except for oh, maybe I see a sweet potato yeah it let's dump this out if there is anything in here they creeped in on their own this ground here is definitely wetter this got more shade than anything else and that's probably why the original potatoes didn't do good yeah just a little root they really didn't establish themselves in this so okay that little clump right there by your foot yeah nothing no no just dirt all right there we go okay so that's the sweet potato harvest and now we'll Weigh clean them up and let them Weigh them and cure get them back. And do that. All right. All right, that's the sweet potato. All right, so here's all the sweet potatoes cleaned up a little bit and uh, ready to basically go into the bin so that they'll dry out and cure and then we'll have sweet potatoes for the next couple weeks. So in the uh, buckets it grew pretty well.